Hi everyone, and welcome back. It has been a year since my last upload. I want to wish everyone a happy new year. Hope you have decided on your resolutions for this year. I know I have. So, leave a comment of what your new year resolutions are. They could be real or fake, your choice. Let's not waste any more time and hop straight into the video. In today's video I will be showing you guys all the boss armor sets and the boss's spawn time. Time for a quick explanation before we start. You need to kill the boss at least once to unlock its armor and weapon sets. To craft the armor and weapons visit Ferriet in Chili Village. And make sure you collect the correct cards. Firstly, all armor sets are divided into three types, strength, intelligence, and dexterity. Here is the layout of the information sheets. First we have the weapon type as I explained earlier. And underneath it is one of two armor sets, dedicated to this specific boss. In the middle we will have the name of the fate bound set, followed by a brief description of the effect. On the left hand side we have the boss's spawn area. Below it we have the boss, followed by the boss's spawn time. That is enough of an explanation. Let's hop straight into the showcase. Up first we have, Boar King. The fate bound set is, Spirit of the Boar King. You enter an enraged state when damaged. He spawns in southern steps between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Next we have Grimhole Gang Leader. The Fate Bound set is, Spirit of the Grimhole Gang. It increases the crit chance of all allies, but reduces your own crit damage. Also spawns in Southern Steps. Number 3. Great River Snail. The Fate Bound set is, Spirit of the Great River Snail. It blocks incoming damage and counterattacks with shark spines. It spawns in bullish marshes. Number 4. We have, Mandragora. The Fate Bound set is, Spirit of the Mandragora. It grants immunity to poison damage, and increases life reckon. Spawns in Mirkwood. Number 5, we have, Elf Mandragora. The Fate Bound set is, Spirit of the Elf Mandragora. It does something I don't know. Spawns in Mirkwood. Number 6, we have, Medusa. The Fate Bound set is, Spirit of the Medusa. You deal more damage to enemies further away, but less damage to enemies nearby. Spawns in Brian Wash Grotto. Number 7, we have Slime. The Fate Bound set is, Spirit of the Slime. Dealing shock damage has an additional chance to cause ailments. Spawns in Brian Wash Grotto. Number 8, we have, Crystal Snap Claw. The Fate Bound set is, Spirit of the Crystal Snap Claw. Normal attacks have a chance to trigger a charge up attack. Spawns in Crystal Mines. Number 9 we have, Golden Snap Claw. The Fate Bound set is, Spirit of the Golden Snap Claw. Automatically charges power when not attacking. Spawns in Crystal Mines. Number 10 is, Skeleton King. The Fate Bound set is, Spirit of the Skeleton King. Chance to summon skeletal minions when you defeat an enemy. Spawns in Halcyon Cemetery. Number 11 is, Sandworm. The Fate Bound set is, Spirit of the Sandworm. Reduces damage taken from all attacks, especially from behind. Spawns in Arid Sands. Next we have, Anubis. With the Fate Bound set, Spirit of Anubis. Grants a what I'm recovery when you take fatal damage. Spawns in Arid Sands. Number 13 we have, Arch Knight. The Fate Bound set is, Spirit of the Arch Knight. Melee attacks occasionally trigger crushing blows that deal massive damage. Spawns in Ruined Citadel. 
Number 14 is Archwizard. The fate bound set is Spirit of the Archwizard. Increases dexterity based on intelligence. Also spawns in Ruined Citadel. Number 15 is Black Knight. The fate bound set is Spirit of the Black Knight. Chance to cause bleeding when you deal slashing damage. Spawns in Ruined Citadel. Number 16 is Triumvirate. The fate bound set is Spirit of the Triumvirate. Your damage type is converted to fire, shock and cold, in cyclical order. Spawns in Geolithic Hills. Next up is Goblin King. The fate bound set is Spirit of the Goblin. Recovers life and mana when defeating an enemy. Spawns in Forest of Tranquillit. Number 18 we have Buccaneer Admiral. The fate bound set is Spirit of the Buccaneer Admiral. Occasionally plunders coins from enemies when you attack them. Spawns in Sea Crest Haven. Number 19 we have Amber Worm. The fate bound set is Spirit of the Amber Worm. Greatly increases fire damage, but your attacks can cause burn to yourself. Spawns in Scorching Volcano. Number 20 we have Alpha Yeti. The fate bound set Spirit of the Alpha Yeti occasionally expels damaging frigid blasts when you attack. Spawns in Ever Frost Peaks. Number 21 we have Zulin. The fate bound set is Spirit of Zulin. Chance to summon a large area of consecrating light when you attack. Spawns in Ancient Ruins. Number 22 we have C6H806. The fate bound set is Spirit of C6H806. Gain growing power as you defeat enemies in succession. Spawns in Esoteria. And finally, at number 23 we have Varkalim Leader. And the fate bound set is Spirit of the Varkalin. Enemies you attack are marked with dark power and take additional damage after a short delay. Spawns in Tower of Aonia. Now that you know all about the armor sets and the fate bound sets they come with, go and watch this video to see which class should be your second, like and subscribe now bye.